Chapter 11, Qin Yun Sect. In the hall, although Wu Haiyun couldn't discern Su Qin Xiu's strength, Wu Haiya, the head of the Wu family, saw through it and was inexplicably shocked. He clasped his fist towards Su Haorin and said, Congratulations, Brother Su. It's astonishing that your niece Qin Xiu A has such a remarkable talent. At the age of 14, she has already reached the ninth level of the Profound Realm. I believe she will break through to the Earth Realm in no time, won't she? He he, Brother Wu has a keen eye. Indeed, my little niece has reached the ninth level of the Profound Realm. Su Horan laughed heartily, his eyes brimming with pride. Upon hearing this, the disciples of the Wu family were taken aback. Wu Zijun, whose suppressed injuries resurfaced, felt a jolt in his heart and almost jumped up. He gritted his teeth and sat back down, his chest wound throbbing. Looking at Su Qingxue, his gaze filled with even greater fear. He now realized that she had held back earlier, and if she had used martial techniques, even if he didn't die, he would be severely injured. While Wu Hui was also astonished by Su Qingxue's strength, his thoughts were focused on the purpose of the Su family's visit to the Wu family. Previously, the Wu family had been more powerful than the Su family, and an engagement had been arranged by the older generation. As long as they came of age at 15, they could marry and have children. Now that he had just turned 15, could their visit be about discussing marriage? Wu Hui had a vague sense of unease in his heart. At the age of 14, Reaching the ninth level of the Profound Realm, with this talent, at the very least, Qin Xuai will become an innate martial master in the future. Wu Hai looked at Su Qin Xuai with a smile on his face. Then he glanced at Wu Hui beside him and sighed inwardly. If Hui's cultivation talent hadn't declined, he wouldn't be any inferior to Su Qin Xuai at this moment. They would have been a perfect match. But now, Wu Hui had fallen to this state, no longer deserving of Su Qin Xuai. It seemed he needed to have a private conversation with Su Horan. If things didn't work out, he would cancel this engagement. My goal is not just to become a martial master or martial king, but to become a martial emperor. Su Qingxuai remained unaffected by Wu Hai's praise. She extended her right hand and gently removed the veil covering her left ear. A face that could overthrow nations and captivate all beholders appeared before everyone. With cherry-like lips, fair as snow complexion, elegantly arched eyebrows, and twinkling star-like eyes, her countenance was exquisitely beautiful. She possessed a refined and graceful aura, devoid of any worldly mundane scent. Like a fairy descending to earth, akin to a blooming water lily untouched by dust. Su Qingxuai swept her gaze over the disciples of the Wu family, her arrogance undisguised. Those who met her eyes immediately lowered their heads afraid to make eye contact. But when her gaze fell upon Wu Hui, her eyebrows slightly furrowed, and her expression turned displeased. Although Wu Hui was also amazed by Su Qingxiu's beauty, his demeanor remained largely unchanged. Seven years of stagnant progress had already made his mind resolute and unyielding. He no longer held any favorable feelings towards this haughty young girl. The arrival of the Su family only added, Wu Hui's heart was even more displeased with the arrival of the Su family. Aspiring to become a martial emperor? In the entire Tianfeng Empire, the highest cultivation level is only the innate martial king. To become a martial emperor is undoubtedly a fool's dream. Su Qingxue had no feelings whatsoever for this inexplicably added fiancé. If it weren't for her grandfather's promise back then, she wouldn't have bothered coming personally. Moreover, it seemed that the other party hadn't even broken through to the Profound Realm, which made Su Qingxue look down on him even more. What infuriated her even more was that when she looked at Wu Hui, he calmly met her gaze without showing any amazement. There was no trace of admiration in his eyes, fueling Su Qingxue's discontent. Well, looking at the arrogant Su Qingxue, Wu Haiya was momentarily at a loss for words. Who wouldn't want to become a martial emperor? But in the entire Tianfeng Empire, with hundreds of thousands or even millions of cultivators, only eight martial kings had emerged, let alone a martial emperor. It was evident how difficult it was to reach that level. Brother Su, 
your daughter is indeed exceptionally talented, but to become a martial emperor, I'm afraid. Wu Hai shook his head. He could sense Su Qingxiu as excessive arrogance. It was natural for cultivators to have some arrogance, but if it went too far, it would greatly affect their future cultivation. Wu Hai's words were a reminder to Su Haoren not to let his daughter's arrogance hinder her future progress. He he, brother Wu, you're overthinking it. There's no guarantee that my daughter will truly become a martial emperor in the future. Su Haoren smiled faintly but cast a glance at the old man in red robes beside him. Oh! At this moment, Wu Haia was truly shocked. Su Qingxiu's words might not have been taken seriously by Wu Haia, but now that Su Haoren reiterated it, doubts arose in his mind. Brother Wu, in fact, it's someone else who said that my daughter could become a martial emperor, Su Haoren teased, deliberately building suspense. Who? King Zhao, the martial king. Su Haoren clasped his fists against his chest and bowed respectfully, his voice echoing in the air. What? Could it be Zhao Qingyun, the sect master of Qingyun sect? Wu Hai's face changed drastically, and he stood up abruptly. This chapter comes to an end. If you enjoy the works of Chengfeng Bookhouse, please follow, like, and bookmark. Your support is my motivation.